Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, August 25th, 2020 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today in Diaries, we got a quick walkthrough from Xavier on how to track malware through VirusTotal. One of the nice things, of course, with a large database of malware like VirusTotal is that you can look for similar pieces of malware than the one that you may have detected in your environment. Now, some of the features discussed here do require a paid subscription to VirusTotal, but it can be quite valuable to actually figure out that for example, a piece of malware has been detected by others as well, or that variations of this malware have already been seen in the past, which often allows you to sort of combine different threat actors or threats to one particular threat actor. And today, many school districts, at least in the United States, uh, did start their academic year again. And with that, of course, much of this happened online and it put some strain on calmly used online services. Zoom, for example, had some outages. There's also some talk about some issues with Microsoft uh, Office 365. Not sure if that was related to the opening of the school year, but also some education specific services like learning management systems and such in part had a hard time coping with the large number of users, of course, working from home and starting school online. By the afternoon Eastern time, most of this looked like it was resolved. We'll uh, have to see throughout the week if uh, there are any uh, repeat issues like that. Uh, probably best uh, to be ready and have a backup plan. And yesterday I mentioned how a Guy wrote a diary of RDP servers being hunted even on off ports like port 23. We have more and more evidence that really RDP servers are the low hanging fruit that all kinds of attackers are going after. A little bit late to the game maybe is apparently Iran. At least group IB is fingering Iran as one group that's going after RDP servers. The attack is pretty much always the same, no matter who does it. And of course, attribution always take it with a large grain of salt, but it comes down to password brute forcing, usually credential stuffing, and then maybe a privilege escalation thrown in for good measure. So if you do expose RDP servers, I understand it may be important for you to do that. Not everybody can turn them all off, but try to use an RDP gateway for additional uh, control and certainly watch your logs, audit your passwords, and keep those systems up to date. And talking about Microsoft, uh, Microsoft has opened its application guard for Office for public preview. This is a feature that works with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and does work with uh, Microsoft 365 and Windows 10 Enterprise. The goal here is to open documents in a sandbox to limit any damage a malicious document may cause. And again, this is a preview of, of the feature. It's not ready yet sort of for the masses and it does require that you are running the Office beta channel build version 2008. So that's the August, that's uh, this month's version. And finally, you're also required uh, to use a Microsoft 365 E5 or a Microsoft 365 E5 security license. And then we got an interesting vulnerability in Safari for iOS as well as for Mac OS. And the effect is that you may share a file that you don't intend to share if you're sharing a file from within Safari. So Safari has the ability to essentially share a file like an image. You just uh, right click on the image and then there is this share dialogue. And the idea is that the image will 
will then, for example, be automatically attached uh, to uh, that uh, email that you're going to send. But uh, due to uh, essentially sort of a user interface issue with this feature, it's possible to share a different file than the file that's actually displayed as a file name to the user using the file colon URL. That will share any local file that the user has a read access to. Short of a patch from Apple, there's not much you can do at this point other than being careful when you're using this sharing feature. You will still see that other file as an attachment in the email, but that may not quite as easy to detect as uh, you think because it's sort of off the screen often. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.